good evening, coach. Yeah, good evening. Another draw at home, this time against uh, Shitty Stars. How are you feeling after this result? Uh, very disappointed. We are very disappointed about this result. Uh, we know that it's a derby match and um, we played them twice in the preseason and it also ended a draw. Uh, we had the full confidence coming into this game that we are going to pick all the three points. But we are very, very disappointed about the result, especially with the massive turnout of the fans. We are hoping that we will be able to give them what they deserve because being a Monday match and we had this turnout of the fans. Uh, I know how difficult it has been for the fans, everybody in the club. Uh, this club have really, really suffered for for about two months now, from November, December. The results haven't been uh, in our favour and we'll continue to work. At this point, the most important thing for us is that um, we, we keep our heads up and um, we'll continue to fight for points until we get it right. Uh, it's not like the chances are not coming for Sporting. Players are creating the chances, but they are not just putting them away. Do you think you have what it takes to grind more and get more goals in your next game? Uh, you, you know, scoring goals um, uh, is, is uh, w when you come, the final third is not tactical. The final third is all about talent, it's all about individual. We showed it today, we see, if you watch the game against Plateau United, against Union by United, you see what Odibo continues to do from the flank, making those run. Those are, that's, that's pure talent and that's what we need more in the final third. And we've also been able to show today that we can score goals, that today we score two goals. But you can't concede two goals at home and expect something to happen. It's, it's, it's really bad that we consider those two goals and it's hurting us badly. Talking about uh, Gordon Odibo, he hobbled off. I think uh, a cramp. How has he? How is he adding to the worries on the uh, injury list already? I'm, I'm sure he will be fine. It's it's not easy for him. Uh, it, it's it's not easy because he gets a lot of kicks and um, he's not being protected at all, even home and away. And um, he's expected a player that holds the ball that much that um, definitely they are going to kick him that much. So. Uh, Hopefully, um, every other person in the attack in the forward one will be able to share the burden of um, moving the ball the way he does for us too. Finally, up next is um, a uh, uh, an away game rather against uh, Benel Insurance. How are you assuring the fans that it would be? a good result and a special result for the fans. From what I'm seeing from my players, the reaction for this game, uh, I went into the dressing room and everybody was really down. I know that um, uh, I'm, I'm counting on them and I'm trusting on them that they are going to give us reaction going out, going to Ben, ben Dele, Sean, to Bini and make sure that we get points because we've dropped a lot of points at home and we need to start picking points away too.